To learn how to deal with query strings in React Router, I've extended our previous application by rendering all my blog posts along with their publishing date and corresponding tags. This data is stored in the same array as before, and each item in this array contains two new key value pairs, an array of strings for the tags and the JavaScript date for the publishing date. So let's go ahead and use the URL query string to add the ability to filter our blog posts by tag and sort them by their publishing date. To retrieve the query string from the current URL, we will need to import the use location hook from React Router DOM. The use location hook returns the location object that represents the current URL. And you can think of it as a state variable that stores and returns a new location whenever the URL changes. The query strings are stored inside the search property of the location object return when we call the use location hook inside our component. And if we print this property in the console and add a few query strings in the URL, you can see that this is just a plain string. In other words, we will need to parse it to retrieve the query strings that we want. For that, we can simply use the browser built-in URL search params API and pass our search property into it. It will parse our query string and return a query instance that we can use to get the value of each parameter in our query string. So now, if we print our Q variable in the console, you can see that this time, we get the value of that parameter only. Let's do the same thing to retrieve the value of the sort parameter in our query string. And once again, if I log this variable into the console, you can see that it is working fine as we get the corresponding value of the sort parameter. All right, let's use those query strings inside our JSX to filter our blog post if we have a value for the Q parameter. In that case, we only return the blog post that includes the value of the Q parameter in their tags array. Otherwise, we return all blog posts if no value has been provided. Let's take a look at our application on the right to see if this is working as expected. So if I want to only search for React blog posts, I can simply set the query parameter in the query string to React and refresh the page. As you can see, all my blog posts are displaying because all of them contain that value in their tags array. Now, if I change the value to router, only the blog posts with that tag are rendered on the string. Same thing if I change the value to JSX. I get only one blog post. So our filtering functionality via the current string is working fine. Let's now add the ability to sort our blog posts with the sort parameter. So after filtering our blog posts, call the sort method and pass the compare function that takes in as an argument two posts to compare. Then check if the searching order is ascending and compare the publishing date of the blog post. Returns one if the first one is greater than the second one or minus one otherwise. Finally, make the opposite comparison if the searching order is descending. Now, if I save this file and only search for React blog posts without setting the sort parameter, we can see that our blog posts are sorted by their publishing date in descending order. But if I set the sort parameter of my query string to AAC, we can see that our blog posts are now sorted in ascending order as expected. 